And switching gears now to the Storm Team forecast and the nation of Japan. <laughs> Jesse, why are we looking at Japan today? New country record. 105.8 right. degrees. That was on Monday. And of course, uh, when we're talking they're about... They're stealing our heat? Basically. I mean, they've talked record highs in Australia as well. In Milwaukee, we woke up to 50 degree, 53 degrees this morning, and we're talking barely reaching 70 degree right. temperatures. Lots of record lows just up to our north as well. So kind of the flip side on the opposite side of the country. And they're not even in the middle of their summer yet. Uh, in Australia, they're still talking record highs, which, <laughs> yeah, summer lovers, head there. Take a long, expensive trip, 13-hour plane ride. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, fall lovers loving this. It was a good bonfire night last night. Look at these cool start temps, though. Man, we had record overnight low temperatures up to our north. Like I said before, Rhinelander, 34 degrees was the new record uh, to start off this morning. Merrill, around 34 degrees as well. Stevens Point broke the record at 36 degrees. Anago, Manitowoc, and Appleton all tied the record coldest start to the morning. Uh, for this state in history. Now, at least we're not starting off in the 30s. We didn't have to talk about frost, thankfully, but overnight lows still were crisp. 43 this morning in West Bend and 43 in Port Washington. We were at 53 in Milwaukee, 53 in Racine, but a lot more 40s than I'd like in August. We are talking 80s, though, later on. We're, today, basically, we'll see a few of these fair weather cumulus clouds like we've got right now in Menominee Falls. You can see the trees not moving around as much. That's because high pressure has settled on top of us, and that means light winds, mainly clear skies. And temps, well, we're going to be kind of pretty much the same as yesterday. Many of us still stuck in the 60s, although already up to 70 degrees in Janesville. Didn't get at 70s on the map until about 2 o'clock yesterday. So that's good uh, good news. We're starting to warm up a little bit more than yesterday. 63 right now, or 66 in Milwaukee. We'll warm up to 70 degrees. Yesterday, 2 degrees shy of that. I think we'll get there today. 70 degrees for our high with mostly sunny skies. Like I said, high pressure right on top of us. Very light winds, calm, quiet, pleasant conditions. As it moves to the east, though, we start to wrap around a southwesterly wind and that's a warming wind it means warmer temperatures on Thursday, Friday, and we'll continue this warming trend into the weekend because basically we've got a stationary front off to our west and that's going to yeah, remain stationary. Not a whole lot going to change in our forecast, except the temps are going to start to take on upward today. The next warmest day out of the week, we continue our trend upward as we go throughout the rest of the work week. 71 right now or for your high today in Waukesha. 69, though, still a little cool in port. Eventually, that wind becomes off the lake. Very light, though, for today. And light wind overnight could bring some patchy fog, but not as chilly overnight. 48, yeah, still a few 40s overnight in Waukesha. But at the lakefront, we're still talking 50s under mainly clear conditions. And for Thursday, there's that nice west-southwesterly wind. Still below average, but... We're making improvement here. 75 for a high in Milwaukee. And as we get into your Friday, 76 degrees, 77 by Saturday, Sunday, 78 degrees. So fantastic for Zoo a la carte. Great for Irish Fest as well. And then there you go, summer lovers. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 80s back into the forecast. And I actually had to take out the rain from the forecast for next Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Looking like we're keeping this persistent dry pattern going. Water bills going to start to go up. We'll be back.